The 8,773rd meeting of the Security Council is called to order. The provisional agenda for this meeting is election of five members of the International Court of Justice, S-2020-615, S-2020-618, and S-2020-619. The agenda is adopted. The Security Council will now proceed to the election of five members of the International Court of Justice. In accordance with the statute of the International Court of Justice, to fill the five seats that will become vacant upon the expiry of the terms of the following judges on 5th February 2021. The nominated candidates are as follows. Tawhid Olufemi Elias of Nigeria. Yuji Iwasawa of Japan. George Nolte of Germany. Julia Sebutinde of Uganda. Maja Sergic of Croatia. Peter Tomka of Slovakia, Emmanuel Yugira Shibuja of Rwanda, Han Kui Shu of China. The list of candidates indicating the national groups by which each candidate was nominated is contained in document S-2020-615. I should like to inform members of the Council that I have received a letter addressed to me by the Legal Council dated 9 November 2020, informing me of, on behalf of the Secretary General that after the established deadline for nominating candidates, namely 24 June 2020, a national group submitted a nomination to the Secretariat. I should like to draw your attention to the fact that the additional nomination relates to a candidate already nominated by other national groups and whose name, therefore, already appears in document S-2020-615. The Legal Council recommended that, in accordance with established practice, I inform Council members orally on the day of the election about the decision of the aforementioned national group. I am also informed that the Legal Council made a similar recommendation to the President of the General Assembly. The nomination of the aforementioned national group is as follows. For George Nolt, Luxembourg. The Security Council has before it a memorandum by the Secretary General contained in document S-2020-618 describing the present composition of the court and setting out the procedure to be followed in the conduct of the election. I should like to remind the Council that under Article 10, Paragraph 1 of the Statute of the International Court of Justice, quote, those candidates who obtain an absolute majority of votes both in the General Assembly and in the Security Council shall be considered as elected, end of quote. The required majority in the Security Council is eight votes. If, in the first ballot, the number of candidates obtaining an absolute majority is fewer than five, then pursuant to Rule 61 of the Provisional Rules of Procedure of the Security Council, the Council will proceed to a second ballot on the remaining vacancies to be held at 11 a.m., on 12th November 2020. Balloting will continue in the same manner until five candidates have obtained the required majority of votes. If, on the other hand, more than five candidates obtain the required majority according to the established practice 
and as set forth in paragraph 15 of the Secretary General's memorandum, a new vote will be held on all the candidates. This rule will also apply to any subsequent ballots if the number of candidates obtaining the absolute majority is fewer or greater than the number of vacancies remaining. Only when five candidates, not more or fewer, have obtained the required majority in the Security Council, will the President of the Council notify the President of the General Assembly of the names of the five candidates. If, upon comparison of respective lists of candidates who have obtained an absolute majority in the Security Council and the General Assembly, fewer than five candidates have been elected. The Council and the General Assembly will proceed again independently of one another at a second meeting and, if necessary, a third meeting to elect candidates by further ballots for the seats remaining vacant, pursuant to Article 11 of the statute, the results again being compared after the required number of candidates have obtained an absolute majority in each organ. The voting will be held by secret ballot. Members of the Council should have already received a ballot containing the names of all candidates. No withdrawal will be accepted once the Council has commenced the voting process. However, it will be possible to withdraw between ballots. Members of the Council will be requested to place an X in the box next to the names of the candidates for whom they wish to vote. Only, these, only those candidates whose names appear on the ballot are eligible for election. If a ballot paper contains any notation other than votes in favour of specific candidates, those notations will be disregarded. I should like to remind members of paragraph 10 of the Secretary General's Memorandum S-2020-618, which specifies that, quote, each elector may vote for not more than five candidates on the first ballot, end of quote. Any ballot paper containing votes for more than five names will be considered invalid. I should like to inform council members that in accordance with established practice, the ballot papers in the Security Council will not be counted until it has been verified that the ballot papers in the General Assembly have also been collected. Finally, as stated in the joint letter dated 4th November 2020 from the Presidents of the General Assembly and the Security Council in view of the COVID-19 pandemic, the way in which the secret ballots will be held in the two organs would have to be adjusted in order to safeguard public health. And the note annexed to the letter outlines the adjusting, adjusted modalities for the elections. In this regard, I would like to refer to paragraph 17 of the Annex, which states that after the members of the General Assembly and the members of the Security Councils have cast their ballots, the President of the General Assembly will announce the suspension of the plenary meeting and the President of the Security Council will announce the suspension of the meeting simultaneously. However, in view of the fact that the casting of ballots will be completed in the Security Council much earlier than in the General Assembly, the advice received from, the medical point, from a medical point of view is that it would not be advisable for members of the Security Council to remain in the Security Council chamber until the General Assembly has completed the casting of ballots. Therefore, the Security Council will suspend its meeting as soon as the casting of ballots has been completed so that members could leave the Council Chamber. 
The Council will now proceed to draw lots to select two delegations to serve as tellers. The delegations of China and Germany will not be considered to serve as a teller because candidates of their nationalities have been nominated. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. France. The names of the delegations of St. Vincent and the Grenadines and France have been drawn. I request each of them to appoint one of their members to serve as teller. May I take it that the Council is now ready to proceed with the election of the five members of the International Court of Justice? It is so decided. We have to wait until we are informed that the GA is ready to vote as well. Okay. I'm told we must now wait a little and we will begin voting simultaneously with the council, with the assembly. It's not paying attention. Yeah. Yes. But uh, I just want to know when it will be announced. The results. As soon as GA has completed its voting. Are we, are we coming back for the well, announcement? Well, you could. I'm told you could come back for the announcement. Okay, but it's, you must it's leave. on now. Yes. So uh, when the uh, 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 result is there in the uh, GA and then you will announce simultaneously. Yes. But are we coming back? I mean, all the members? It's, yes, you have to come back. And then we will wait for your, for your notice to be come back? Well, Okay. How long do you expect? Hour, hour and a half. You know? Hour and a half. Okay, that's good. Yes, Vasily. Okay, can I can I ask a question? Uh, uh, why will be safer in in the uh, outside the council than the, in the council itself? <laughs> Because there's fresh air outside. Fresh air. <laughs> you know, Rhonda, yeah. unlike the previous years, mm -hmm. if all 15 council members are here, you will have to order them now. Uh, and Jay, as well, but it will be West Cap. So if they don't wish to, be around, or it's really up to you. So we can take the decision to not do it simultaneously? No, it has to be simultaneous. Okay. So if, if council members do not wish to wait around yeah. for the announcement to be made, either you can delegate someone to sit in your place, or you do not even need to be here. The announcement will be made. And I'm better or not. Yes, yeah. and I'm informed by my colleague Jay that it will 
do what now? Do what now? I can begin. Yes. I am informed that the General Assembly is now ready to proceed with the voting procedure. Each delegation has received a ballot paper. Members of the Council should place an X in the boxes next to the names of the five candidates for whom they wish to vote. I take it that all the members of the council have now fi filled in the ballot paper. And I will now read out the name of each member of the council. Delegates are requested not to leave their seats to cast their ballots until I have read out the name of the member concerned. The delegate of the relevant member will proceed to the ballot box located over there. That's it right in front of us there. Once the delegate has cast the ballot in the ballot box, he or she will directly return to his or her seat at the council table. We begin with Dominican Republic. <laughs> Estonia France Germany. Indonesia. Niger. Russian Federation.
South Africa, Tunisia. United Kingdom, the United States. Vietnam. Belgium. China. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. All the ballots have been collected. As I mentioned earlier, I will hereby suspend the meeting so that the ballots can be counted. I should like to remind the council members that in accordance with the established practice, the ballots will not be counted until it has been verified that the ballot papers in the General Assembly have also been collected. It is my intention to resume this meeting simultaneously with the meeting in the General Assembly. As soon as the ballots have been counted and the President of the General Assembly 
and the President of the Security Council can simultaneously announce the results. The announcement of the results will be webcast. Those members who wish to hear the results in person may return to the chamber. The meeting is suspended. South Africa is not coming to sit. I can stop. Okay. The 8,773rd meeting of the Security Council is resumed. I wish to inform the members that the voting in the Security Council was conclusive, but was not conclusive in the General Assembly. The Council will therefore suspend the meeting and wait for the balloting process in the General Assembly to be completed. As soon as I receive the names of the five candidates who received the required majority from the President of the General Assembly, I will announce the full results of the voting in the Council and the General Assembly. The meeting is suspended.